I'm Michelle, I'm 24, and in August, I got fired from my six-figure tech job because I posted a TikTok video on the internet about how I forgot to put a cup underneath my Keurig, and so my coffee spilled all over my counter. But at the same time, I was actually sitting in a meeting at 4.30 in the morning, and I didn't realize when I uploaded the video to TikTok that in the background of my video, you could actually hear my work meeting going on. And I didn't find that out, actually, until 24 hours later when I got called into a meeting with HR, and they fired me for gross negligence. Yeah. Any Gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well. So, this is going to be another one of those weekly videos where I decide to chill out, you know, not roast the women of TikTok, but I just had to start it off with that TikTok. Um, I'm going to be hopping into the article in just a second, but is it no wonder women are losing their jobs nowadays when they're that incompetent? They don't realize, hey, maybe I shouldn't be multitasking while I'm in this meeting. Um, it just it backfired hilariously, uh, hilariously for her. And we're going to get into the topic at hand, being that I came across an article recently that I wanted to go over. Uh, AI is the big talk of the town lately. Um, you know, uh, you definitely have seen that um, Taylor's been messing around with it, changing his own avatar to something that's AI, um, creating our outros and stuff like that, just mixing it up, trying stuff out. It's really interesting stuff. Um, but there's definitely the dangers that come with it. Anyways, let's get to the article that I have for you. So this one is on Emily Hanley telling us that she lost her job because of ChatGPT making her job obsolete. She was out of work for three months before taking a new job, passing out samples at a grocery store. And uh, here's the woman in question. It says... Emily Hanley is a freelance copywriter, writer, and comedian. Well, it seems that she wasn't able to rely on her comedic uh, career. Yikes. But anyways, she said she started losing work when clients decided to use ChatGBT instead of hiring a copywriter. Hanley says that if a robot can do your job for less, it'll end up doing that. So that's one of the topics that I do want to get to later um, that there are certain jobs that are going to become less functional as AI becomes, um, well, just more sophisticated. For example, with copywriting, um, her job here, yeah, they could create articles, even though it may not make a lot of sense or may be based on um, previous year's data. If I recall, ChatGPT doesn't have records past a certain year. I can't remember if it was 2022 or 2021. Somebody can feel free to drop that in the chat. So wouldn't may want it to make an article on something that happened in 2023, but these are limitations that I'm sure they're going to come over as uh, they keep on getting funding. Anyways, it just makes sense. Like, sure, people on Fiverr already sell themselves for very little for their services. Like freelance copywriting services but who needs a writer when you can just get a computer to do it um and one that may not take two weeks but 20 minutes to get your stuff going so let's read here i always dreamed of going viral because of my brains or my undeniable beauty i never thought it would be because i made a tiktok about losing my job to ai I'm a writer and stand-up comedian. Like most creatives, I've always worked a day job. For the past several years, I worked as a full-time freelance copywriter. I'd work on web pages, branded blogs, online articles, social media captions, and email marketing campaigns. I wasn't raking in the big bucks or living fancy free aboard a yacht in Capri, but it was comfortable. For the first time, I felt like I had a sustainable career. Ooh, damn. Um, in the push for innovation, we've always celebrated the advancements that rendered workers useless. We marveled at the printing press with little thought for the scribe and rejoiced at the ease of an elevator button even though it swiftly replaced the lift operator. Uh-huh. Still, it's different when it happens to you. First, the work slowed. Instead of ten assignments a week, I had five, then three, then one. 
damn well that really <laughs> that really cuts things down honestly like say you were getting paid a hundred dollars per gig which would kind of suck but then again i don't know i've never been a copywriter um to then just be making a hundred dollars a month that's just not sustainable no matter where you are no matter who you live with etc so damn that's damaging um like any good self-doubting millennial i first thought it was me of course i'd finally be discovered as a talentless hack with no business being a professional writer <laughs> The majority of my freelance assignments came through a single agency working with several brands. When the assignments stopped coming, I emailed my editor boss to ask if I'd been fired or if all the brands had just voted me off the island, uh, survivor style. The good news was it wasn't me, but the real reason made me wish it had been. So here's the thing. Um, I'm pretty sure there are some people that are doing hella bank with copywriting. Sure, I'm sure that part of it was you, but it was also that ChatGPT came in and everybody is using it nowadays for the simplest of things. Maybe you charge too much and it doesn't charge anything or um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's now a subscription based model for it. I don't really use ChatGPT or any sort of AI tools right now, so I couldn't tell you, but in any case, I've seen videos on what people are pumping out with it and uh, it just makes sense. Uh, one of the notes to this person is that she's working with an agency that works with several brands. You might want to put yourself on a site like Upwork or Fiverr, and this is to any people who are potentially in copywriting or have a freelance skill that they're trying to make some more money off of. Sure, they take a cut of what you're doing, but at the same time, it's better than losing your one source. You have two there, Fiverr, Upwork. If you got banned from Upwork, you'd at least have Fiverr, right? And, uh, you know, I get there's people that charge very little money for copywriting services on Fiverr, and it's usually people in, like, Pakistan or the Philippines. But don't get me wrong, they're good people. Um, but when English isn't your native language, uh, it's hard to get things 100% right. So sometimes people would rather do business, spend a bit more money, and work with a native speaker. Anyways, that's just a tip that I had there. Uh, clients were simply unwilling to pay for copywriting any longer unless that writer could also provide email management and a funnel building system, most likely because of the newfound popularity of ChatGPT. Well, sorry, one second. I had a bigger lunch, so I'm a bit burpy. Um, <laughs> yeah, so email management and funnel building uh, system really not that hard of a skill to learn you know you could look into click funnels um clavio uh mailchimp there's so many so many things there and they're all pretty simple to use i've done that all myself without having to hire out for my businesses that i've been running so but i get there's some people that just don't learn and would rather have somebody deal with it uh teach their own most of, my, uh, most of my clients were small businesses, startups, and young brands, which are typically first to adapt to new technology to cut costs, aka me. Yeah, yeah. Trying to find a job in an oversaturated market is like trying to talk to someone at unemployment. Many of us remain on hold. For the next three months, I steadily applied for content and copywriting positions. With each passing week, I widened the scope of my search, desperation pushing me forward like a stage mom to a shy child. Huh. Good writer, I'll admit that. It's uh, fun, even though self-deprecating, to read through this uh, article on her part. Uh, several successful yet fruitless interviews later, one of which I did in Hawaii on the day of my best friend's wedding. Oof. Uh, I remain jobless. Side note, that beautiful trip to Hawaii sent me into a debt-stress spiral akin to nothing I've ever experienced. I now understand death of a salesman on a far deeper level. I haven't watched that, not quite sure what they're referring to, but at the same time, in trying to sound professional, you're sounding really self-deprecating. At least it's uh, kind of funny, but at your own expense. Uh, then I came across a promising position through a rather pushy recruiter. The six months contract was for a well-paying, albeit exceedingly vague role at a global conglomerate, the name of which I cannot share because of an NDA. Good call. Entered the pre-interview, hopeful, and left wishing I'd followed my father's advice and become an electrician. 
yeah, electricians are definitely not having issues with their jobs and are definitely not worrying about chat GBT or AI taking over their jobs. I highly recommend for any of the young men that are watching this to, you know, not, uh, not look at it as a plan B for some people. It should be their plan A, <sighs> you know, having worked in an office most of my life, uh, not really that fun. Uh, it could be soul crushing, et cetera, et cetera. And to know that in five or 10 years, uh, AI may be coming for your job by the time you get out of college or university and finally get into the workforce. Eh, that can be damning for some people. So really think about it. This is AI is definitely something to think about. I think it's going to take time before it takes most people's jobs or the jobs that can be done by AI, which I'll go over in a second from what I know. <clears throat> I really should have poured myself some water. Uh, the company was looking to hire a copywriter to train its artificial intelligence source, improving its human-like communication abilities. The contract was six months because that's how long it'd take for the AI to learn to write just like me, but better, faster, and cheaper. Oh, wow. She was hired to program the damn things. That's hilarious. Uh, almost coming to the end of the article here. If you're under the assumption that I turned down the follow-up interview because the job would take away my future ability to find work you'd be wrong my friend on the brink of financial collapse making the right choice for future sustainability becomes a distant concept replaced by frivolous needs for the present such as food and shelter yeah maybe should have worked on those feet picks or something i don't know seems that this was a soul-crushing decision but then again you know so is only fans but whatever um in a hilarious turn of events even though i would have taken the job i didn't end up getting it Instead, I got hired as a brand ambassador, uh, which is a fancy way of saying I offer samples of sparkling water at grocery stores. I'm still applying for jobs, but in the meantime, this allows me to keep the lights on. Uh, in January, two months after its launch, yeah, GPT surpassed 100 million users, solidifying its status as the fastest growing consumer application. The more users input instructions, the smarter chat GPT gets, and the more writers will join me and the elevator operator. <laughs> Oh, oh man, really just shitting on yourself. Well, I and countless other out-of-work copywriters are the first wave of AI collateral. The collapse of my profession is probably just the tip of the iceberg. Challenger, Gray, and Christmas found that artificial intelligence led to nearly 4,000 job losses in May. Yeah, and I wonder how many of those also came from these, be uh, these big tech layoffs like Google, Facebook, sorry, Meta, whatever you want to call yourself nowadays, Apple, etc. Um, probably because they assumed that using these uh, AIs that we're training to sound like a boomer uh, can probably do the work of some of these people and they can save money because, let's face it, all they care about is damn profit, right? I naively assumed that artists and creatives would be safe from automation technology because how could anything replace the wonder of the human mind? And even if it could, why would we want to? And I now understand that even in the most creative industries, creativity never comes before the bottom line. If a robot can do your job for less, you better believe that's exactly what's going to happen. That's some food for thought right there. Man. Um, darn. I guess I need to just do one quick thing. Cool. All right. Well, let me wrap this video up by saying that, yeah, uh, apparently her comedy is not good enough for her to uh, sustain on, on a living basis. Um, she needed to completely, for anybody that skipped over the video, she needed to start selling samples at a grocery. Uh, so that's, oh, that's just damn crazy. But either way. Um, I'm not surprised, given with the woman in the intro, that they're losing their jobs. Of course, men are going to lose their jobs, too. It's just how it is. You know, I, I'm not going to focus too much on one or the other. I think the best way to be safe is to think about what you're doing and spend some time. Maybe hop on chat GPT and see if maybe five of the daily tasks that you do can be off put to chat GPT. Um, I personally think that entertainers like on YouTube, um, for example, I was watching, what's his face? He has a really weird name, Quibblebop or something. He's a very well-known gaming YouTuber, has um, actually completely off-sourced all his, his content generation to AI, and it just looks terrible. <laughs> you know, I don't think you're going to need to worry about Taylor, Hadon, or myself 
or any of the new members joining up about uh, moving on anytime shortly. Uh, and, you know, AI can't fully understand the human mind and emotions and stuff like that, even if it tries. <clears throat> um, one further point is that, you know, AI is creating some very believable um, images of ladies as I've just started releasing a few videos with them in the thumbnails and one guy thought it was a graver model, um, an Asian graver model, which is another, you know, way of saying prawn, but Japanese, Japanese prawn. Um, <laughs> but no, it was a complete AI uh, generation from somebody who was trying to make money on Instagram. Um, somebody slid into the AI model's DMs and wanted feet pics. So the guy generated like Asian feet pics and sold it to him for 75 US dollars. I'm not, I'm not shitting you. I really wish I could find this video again, but it did happen. It is starting. And even, you know, women on OnlyFans are going to have to compete with these fake women. Uh, that, that's another video I would love to go in on because it's just such an interesting topic. But, you know, this was a longer form video. Sometimes people want that kind of stuff. Sometimes they don't. Um, so I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, like if you could, subscribe, comment down below what you thought about me returning to these article read style videos like Better Bachelor, love Better Bachelor, love his content, we're all big fans here over at Fiend Gang, and um, yeah, I'd like to move away from the red meat, red pilled stuff sometimes and talk about real world issues, uh, <laughs> not to say the dating market and all that stuff isn't a real world issue, but just other things, you know, the the compilations they are what they are it's uh pretty much about the same five topics over and over again uh i see you all like it but creating more content that you like is important to me seriously i like to have fun with this kind of stuff either way there's going to be a new one next week uh, i don't know what it's about quite yet so stay tuned it'll come out around the same time as this one so thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one bye for now